Hey you two friends, um, I know it's been a long time with the stand thing, but um, I, I made videos, then I, I kind of uh, figured I'd do the whole video again, because kind of I changed my ideas and things like that, so might as well just show you what I'm doing instead of show you all the stuff that I'm not going to do. But I got to get this done tonight, it's a little late. It's uh, kind of starting to get to be dusk outside. But I got to get this together because um, um, there's the set. And tomorrow, um, they're going to bring this tub tomorrow for the for the uh, big kind of uh, whirlpool bathtub. goes upstairs. And uh, the guys are going to give me a hand with uh, putting this TV on top of the stand tomorrow. So tomorrow's a big day. Get the Whirlpool tub and the TV put on the stand. But I gotta finish this up. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need it, but I'm gonna add another wheel like here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is that it kind of balances out these two wheels. But then, if you remember from way back, I kind of glue these together with Gorilla Glue. And there's see this big spans here where it's just now it should hold and uh, you know it's going to be pressure on it but i was just thinking about any separation of this wood here you know just due to uh like um atmospherics let's say humidity or just age i don't want this wood kind of separating so i figure i kill two birds with one stone here it gives it, it gives it a little little extra there but the, the extra weight on here is going to, you know, keep all this together. It's going to be pushing on the board, so it's not going to warp or anything. Okay, I'm going to, am I, uh, yeah. Okay, I use the uh, tape measure, kind of set them where I want them. And then i um, going to use this uh, awl here to make holes, uh, little dots in there. And uh, I'm going to pre-drill for the screws, and it's going to make it a lot easier. And uh, you know, I usually pre-drill pre for screws, but my last video I didn't pre-drill for nails, and I didn't even know you could. But uh, a couple YouTube friends told me that I should have pre-drilled for that um, faceplate I did upstairs, pre-drilled for the nails. So I didn't know that. I didn't know you could pre-drill for nails, but Anyway, For these wheels, I'm just going to use uh, number 10 by 1 wood screws and, and washers here. And remember for these, I, I bolted these through from the other side. So they're bolted through on that on this section of wood here. And this, this section here is the particle board. So, you know, these are in there like forever. And so are these. I mean, once I screw these into the wood, it's going to be fantastic. And uh, might as well just do it. Yeah, just screw them in by hand. And I kind of felt a slot. Can't see it worth beans because my glass is broke. But just feeling the slot and sticking the screwdriver head in is pretty good enough, really. Yeah, that's cool. A little more. I'll get the other ones in, then I'll tighten them all in. Okay, that's the last one here. Okay, got that wheel on. That wheel on. Gonna flip it over. Okay, but this board here is in so tight. I mean, I don't even have to epoxy that in. That thing is just wedged in. Had to use like this thing here and uh, a hammer. 
and just kind of banged it in. But that, that board has wedged in so tight, I mean, it's never going to move, especially with all the weight on top of it, uh, top from the television, you know. Of course, I put epoxy on this one, and I tried to wedge it in, but I couldn't get it past where the things would meet. It's, I don't know why, but the board is hanging up. So I just wedged it in as tight as I could. And again, I mean, the weight of the set's going to, it's going to, things going to be wedged so tight. So, um, I think it's going to be okay. Okay, I got, uh, that side and the back wedged in, and this side wedged in here. The next step, I got to put the glass back in. And, uh, then I got to put the, uh, the side supports in that I put in. It's kind of unfortunate that, um, that's just how it works, because I really couldn't figure out a way how to beef it up so that I could get the glass out if I wanted to take the glass out. So the way this is, I gotta put the glass in, and then put the put the side side supports in here, and then um, the glass will be in kind of permanently. But I guess it doesn't matter, because I mean, why would I take the glass out? It doesn't make any sense, you know. I mean, once the shelves are in. I mean, they're in. I'm not going to take them out, I think. I think, I hope. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because in the long run, uh, you know, this big, gigantic CRT set isn't going to last forever either. So, you know, I, I was thinking if I get like five or six years out of it, I'd be pretty happy. I you know what's amazing. These uh, Jimmy Dean Delights Canadian Bacon Honey Wheat Muffin fantastic it goes down good with for the war steiner in coning unter den Bieren. very good and something about like the egg and the cheese and the canadian bacon mmm good it's good when you wash it down with this mmm just taking a break and um, it's okay cuz see it's less than half the fat, so that means you can have two of them instead of one. Okay, now that I refueled, I can install this this cross member in here. That's gonna go across like that. And it's gonna be supported with uh with, with with this thing that I notched out, and then I labeled them. I can't read the label on there, but it's gonna be the opposite of whatever this one is. I can't read that one either. Well, I gotta figure it out then. But I do have that one labeled there. It says up arrow and L top. So that's the left top. Yeah, yeah, th these little <clears throat> vertical supports are gonna be wedged in here so tight. It's really tight. And it's, uh, when I cut them, I cut them exact. See, I'll tell you what I did. I cut them. Then what I did was I used the belt sander to sand it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, so that it would fit perfectly in there. I mean, just wedge in. But with the paint on there, actually, it makes it even a little tighter. So I'm just going to, like, wedge it in. It's really in tight. Put the cross piece in, and then wedge this one in. And it's all wedged in, just kind of like Legos. It's going to be, like, really strong, and I don't have to glue it or nail it or anything. Fantastic, huh? Yeah, just using the basic uh, hammer and block technique to kind of bang it in. And then like, just check here, and uh, looks good. See, I got enough uh, slack here with the glass here. So I just put these other two pieces in, hey? Eh? See, now I'm like wedging this, uh, that, that cross, the cross support in. And just uh, kind of wedging it in. Got to use uh, like this block kind of tap it in and these things are what are they're wedged in pretty tight and that little bit of paint I got on top you know is really uh, wedging in good so I don't, I don't have to glue this or anything it's fantastic just all fitting together like like really tight and I guess sometimes I get lucky what can I say okay I got that side all wedged in that cross the piece cross support piece there yeah looks looks pretty cool got, got 
room for the glass here. It's not too tight or anything. See? That one's a little tight. No, no, it's not. It's just space in there. A lot of space. Good. And then uh, I didn't want to touch in the glass, but there's about an eighth of an inch on each side here for the glass. See, look. It's loose. And this is this piece here. And I could do a little another little whack there to whack it in. Let me do that. Okay, so I got it in. It's nice and flush there. The two by fours all fit together. Fits in that notch I made. It's all snug against the top here. Then I got supports in the back here. They're all wedged in pretty good. So it's all set. It's all set for me to transfer that set to this top here. And tomorrow I'm gonna, I'll show you how I do it. If I get those guys to help me out, then it's going to be interesting, I think. Talk to you later. Bye.